Mark Ostfeld is a fixed income strategist at Monument Securities. He joins me in the studio now. So, Mark, is this the beginning of the end for the euro? Is the, are we seeing the common currency unraveling? Um, put it this way. If um, two or three months ago you'd suggested that, I would have said the chances are 1% because you can never say never. Now I guess we have probably upped the chance to say 15%, 10-15%. So we're not talking about it necessarily being life-threatening. Nevertheless, it cr has created a crisis of leadership. And we're at a stage now where if a deal can't be made up, then it will be life-threatening to the euro. But the options of people exiting the euro are not really as simple as some people are suggesting. Returning now to our top story, of course, speaking to Mike, Mark Oswald, fixed income uh, strategist, about uh, Greece's downgrade to junk and what this means for the euro and, in fact, the, the makeup of the whole eurozone, Mark, which is a construct that is very much being brought into question now because of the massive differences between eurozone countries. There are massive differences and there always will be. There are probably as many differences, though, if, if you look at an economy like the USA. So I think it's not really about that. It's really about the leadership of, uh, of the EU and of the Eurozone. Specifically, we seem to have got to the point where suddenly the Germans want to um, enforce all, all the elements of the Maastricht Treaty after spending so much time allowing other countries, specifically France, um, to basically circumvent a lot of the rules and basically bend a lot of the rules. Um, so they're not in a great position because the responsibility here lies equally with Greece as it does with France and Germany. Uh, and the, the key point in any solution here to ensure the survival of the euro uh, is that they show some leadership, first of all. Secondly, that any of the austerity measures, which are going to be harsh, there's no doubt about that, are feasible. What I was hearing yesterday, the idea that Greece should be cutting its budget deficit by 10% in 2010 and 2011, doesn't Realistic. sound very feasible to me. It sounds more like the sort of IMF prescription that we saw in, in the 80s and 90s for countries in Latin America and Africa, and most of them have been disastrous. So with this in mind, how is all this playing out in the markets? What is the impact then? Is there much confidence that Greece is going to get the money that it needs to get out of this mess? Um, I think the confidence goes up and down like a yo-yo, to be quite honest. Um, for the moment, I think people are gradually getting to the point where they think it is going to be actually approved. Certainly, um, Mrs Merkel appears to have um, broken with her own uh, coalition partners and reached across to the SPD to try and ensure that the two major parties, at least in Germany, approve the process. But uh, Mr Schäuble overnight has also indicated, well, if the measures aren't credible for Germany, but then they're not they're going to pass the... Um... I mean, very briefly, Mark, is, is the bailout package, is this money any longer a feasible solution? Because you would have a situation where Portugal, for example, would be lending Greece 774 million euros uh, at 5%, even though the bond market is charging Portugal something like, what, 5.6% for its, its own uh, three what, money, short-term debt money. So, I mean... Does that make sense to you? It doesn't make a whole load of sense, no. Um, uh, but it depends on what sort of period, time period it is. Um, really what it tells us that is that the cost of money, not only in the EU, but across the globe, is actually at the moment far too low. And long-term interest rates have a long way to rise. And this really sort of sets a bar uh, for a lot of people which we're going to have to cross and perhaps bond markets aren't pricing that incorrectly not only in the eurozone sure. but broadly well mark oswald thank you so much uh, for speaking to us we appreciate your insight on this story well